Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. The South African Human Rights Commission has launched an investigation into the alleged violation of citizens' right to clean water and a clean environment. Natasha Windahl joins me to discuss the matter. Hi, Natasha. Hi. What is the Commission's mandate? Well, the Commission's um, mandate is to actually oversee, investigate and report on any suspected um, violations of human rights. These human rights are enshrined in the um, Bill of Rights, which is Chapter 2 of the Constitution. And the Commission in, will either investigate based on a complaint that has been made or if they suspect that there has been a violation in any form whatsoever and they will launch an inquiry. They are empowered to take a take certain steps, um, also to try and guide the responsible parties where they might be going wrong, um, to dictate what their next steps should actually be. Okay, the Commission is now taking its role pretty seriously. I mean, it's looking at water and anything to do with water and the violation of basic human rights um, in the Vol River region, um, where there is there's some suspicion and complaints that have been made about um, pollution that is affecting the drinking water that is being supplied to the residents. There, are, there have been reports that the residents of the Vol River region are actually drinking contaminated water. Um, there's been pollution, raw sewage spillage apparently, um, environmental hazards, and this directly violates and threatens human rights. Um, and that is where the Commission is now going to come in. They're looking into it, they've launched an inquiry, and they're starting looking into it whether there is a basis for an investigation. And what will that entail? Okay, so the Commission has actually set up a public inquiry. Um, they've held, recently they've held um, hearings in the region where they can get input from stakeholders, residents, municipal the municipality there, um, anybody who's remotely involved or affected by any pollution in, in the region, in the water in the region. Um, following reports that have come through that there's 150 megalitres of raw sewage that's spilling into the dam or into the river. Um, They've also done a tour of the river itself and they've contended that it's enough to actually go forward with an investigation. So at the moment they're busy, go they're going to now in November start um, a second round of public hearings um, to obviously look at the findings that were from the first round. Um, the main objectives of this actual inquiry is to you know, report, well find out if there's any violations of the human rights of the residents staying in the region, um, whether there's any impact on the businesses that are operating along the um, banks of the Vol River, um, the impact on the citizens themselves in terms of obviously health and um, hygiene, and whether the municipality has actually failed in its duties to provide clean drinking water to citizens. They are also going to look at the role that um, provincial and national governments have in preventing any future issues such as this one. I mean, another one has come up in Ranfontein, in Harabiersport, sorry, um, where there has been allegations of pollution in that river as well. So they're looking at, at anything that can prevent something like this moving forward. They are also having a look at what the impact is on the environment, um, the long-term and short-term impacts, and um, what the long-term and short-term impacts are on the industrialization of the region and its economy itself. What is the Department of Water and Sanitation's position on the matter? The department is actually saying that they are seized with challenges um, in trying to find solutions to the alleged pollution that is in the river. They've already made available 20 million rand to the municipality to try um, with short-term fixes and um, try and resolve the issue. And they're looking now for more funding uh, where possible to try and make sure that all the infrastructure is up to date. Um, any delays in projects relating to water is brought up to date and so on. They are also involving Rand Water, the Gauteng Provincial Government um, and all the surrounding municipalities in trying to find solutions. Thank you. That's the second take show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.